Welcome back to the code behavior. So today we'll see about uh, how we can integrate Calendly into Calendly API into our uh, website. So uh, first of all, we'll see about uh, what is Calendly. So Calendly is a scheduling tool that allows individual or business to uh, schedule their appointments and meeting. Okay, with the help of Calendly. Uh, it has multiple features like efficient scheduling and uh, time zone management. We can manage uh, our time zone and uh, we can also manage our availability and uh, automate reminder like uh, when we go for like we have scheduled a meeting and uh, before half an hour or one hour we can uh, send to the reminder like it will send automatically reminders to the users okay so first we have to see like uh, we have to create a event okay so let's see so here is a, a new event type button you can see right top and uh, with the help of this you can create a event so let's see uh, here uh, we have a multiple types of like we can create event one to one uh, one host with group of invitee collective so like uh, in a one to one or one to many many to one we can create so i am just creating by for one to one okay so choose a host so here we, you have to choose uh, any host okay so i myself i am creating i'm making as a host and next uh, again we can see so here you have to just put the uh, event name like we can see like a uh, uh, project discussion okay so we are scheduling a meeting and the uh, scheduling a event uh, like it is also an event or appointment we you can say so the name is project discussion and duration 30 minute okay and you can uh, choose uh, multiple options like zoom meeting so in case of zoom you have to integrate this like you have to provide uh, the login of your zoom uh, zoom account so in that case it is integrated automatic automatically into your uh, like here okay so currently we can say uh, i'm not choosing zoom so we can say also phone call okay so uh, let's cancel it uh, we can make like uh, uh, zoom okay but currently we are not integrating here okay so just continue here you can say the code behavior uh, project discussion 30 minute okay continue and after this the event uh, is created uh, for you and here you can set also availability like you can see uh, here is uh, event detail uh, host and invite scheduling uh, setting and multiple things we have so we can say uh, just it is done okay so here the meeting is created you can see uh, our appointment is created uh, the name is project discussion 30 minute and one to one okay so uh, one thing is simply like you can uh, just copy link and uh, provide to your like uh, uh, the one uh, user like who want to join uh, to this session like for one to one session so here you can uh, like uh, uh, also point uh, also uh, fix their own availability and you can fix the meeting okay so firstly you will provide your availability and again he will uh, uh, manage this so first uh, we have to see like uh, uh, when we go to like here so we have a website like you can say this is our web page okay and into this web page we have to integrate this currently uh, event so you have to click just on share button so again you can see share a link so one thing uh, the first thing you can share like manually through email or uh, like skype or any other uh, platform add time to email uh, otherwise you can if you want to integrate this into your website then you can uh, you have three options like inline embedding pop-up visit and pop-up text so for this i am i am assuming like i am going to uh, integrate like uh, as a pop-up visit so just click on pop-up visit and continue and here you can see uh, code you will get a code like here is an embed code place this code into your html on the page you want to floating button to appear when a visitor click the button your currently visit will load as a pop-up okay so just uh, click here copy code and when you uh, get it copied then you can just put this code what is this so let's see uh, you we have to point this uh, uh, into your head section so let's put it we have to uh, inserted our code and let's run this file again so what we can see here here you can say on uh, right bottom uh, there is a widget box and uh, you can click when we when we click on this so after clicking on it you can see like uh, 
पॉपअप इज ओपन एंड यू कैन सी द कोड बिहेवियर लाइक द होस्ट नेम एंड प्रोजेक्ट डिस्कशन इज अ टॉपिक एंड इट इज फॉर थर्टी मिनट सो अगेन फॉर यूजर दैट यू प्रोवाइडेड दिस लिंक ही कैन प्रोवाइड देर और बिल्टियर लाइक वी कैन शेड्यूल इट फॉर सेवनटीन एंड दिस इज फॉर टाइमिंग ओके दिस इज फॉर टाइमिंग वन थर्टी एम लाइक वन थर्टी एम नेक्स्ट ही कैन प्रोवाइड देयर नेम लाइक राघव ओके एंड Uh, he will put some entries and uh, also some uh, description and uh, when we click on when he click on schedule event and in this case you can see you are scheduled a calendar invitation has been sent to your email address so also uh, when uh, the user schedules also this event uh, in that case email is sent to both side like host and uh, user both okay so this is how we can integrate calendly into your into our website so simple just uh, like for inline embedding we have a three types of embed embedding so for inline and pop up widget and third one is like we can see pop up text okay so uh, if you want to like we have integrated this in, in a simple html page like uh, your website also uh, contain the html page like web page uh, if you want to integrate this uh, this uh, in your angular website or react or any other php website then you can ask in comment box and uh, and if you have any query regarding this video they can, then you can ask in comment box and uh, for any other integration you can uh, uh, recommend this into uh, recommend this and ask in comment box so guys i hope you found this video helpful so guys if you like this video please subscribe this channel and uh, uh, to get more updates so thank you thank you very much